Welcome back to episode 5. Let's go ahead and start getting this set up. I've actually noticed a few things we want to change. Today we're going to basically uh, make the basket for the balls and a little funneling system. And then we'll probably get a battery array system here for the, to run the motors. And we'll see how far we can go with everything. One of the biggest issues that I've noticed from the last time is we actually want this running on the y-axis for importing it into Unreal. And then Unreal will use a, a tool there to put it onto the X. Uh, and that goes automatic. But currently I was going to use this side for the barrel and this side for the basket, which I have it backwards. So the easiest way to change that is we'll just go ahead, click on one, push L to grab the whole thing. So now you can see we have it all. And we can just push S, Y, minus one, which will reverse the orientation there, make it uh, mirrored to the opposite direction. And now we can just line her up, get it back where we want it. And that looks pretty good. The other thing I didn't like very much is these are really thick and I had always planned on changing these, but I didn't do it in the last one. So we'll go ahead and just grab all those. And it actually seemed to look pretty good like this. Just make it about the same width as the leading edge here. And what that does is it actually adds a little dent right here that uh, kind of gives a little more dimensionality. So when you look at it from the front, let's see, like that, it just adds a little more to it. And now we can go ahead and start getting everything else. And uh, I do think we're going to change these. I don't really care for them much. We'll probably just put in a circle and then re-extrude everything here shortly. I'm not going to do that right this minute. That's just a really simple thing. So for right now, we're going to grab everything and we're going to hide it. And let's make a basket. So we're going to add a circle and we're going to go with 12. Seems to have been working pretty good for us so far. And that works. And we'll go into tab, grab our vertices select, go to one, and we'll just bring it down to, I believe this is 20 units. Uh, let's go ahead. I think it's actually two units and these are the decimal increments, but I don't remember. So we'll just bring it down to here like that. Control R to add a couple of loop cuts. That looks about right. Uh, right to cancel. And we're going to grab the bottom one. Just go ahead and scale that in. Grab this one. Scale that one in. And then we can pull this one up. Grab this one and pull this one up as well. So we have a basket shape. And we're going to grab this bottom just like it is. We're going to shoot it down. And then we're going to extrude it down again. And this is just going to be our funnel. And you know, we're just going to go ahead and make it here since we already have that nice loop. And then we can grab this loop and push V to rip it away. So now it's no longer connected. And then we can grab this whole funnel piece. Push P, selection, to separate. So that's now its own object. And we'll work on that later. Let's go ahead and just hide that for now. Go back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab all of the faces. We're going to go to face select. And you're going to push I twice. And just bring it in just a little bit. About right there. And X. And we're going to delete all the faces. So now we already have a basket. So the thing is that the basket looks great. Uh, it won't work in Unreal though because we don't have an inside edge. It's just a flat plane. So all of these edges, the vertices are uh, excuse me, the faces are pointing towards us, so we'll be able to see it, but the ones in the back, so if we look at it like this, all of this would be invisible. So we do want to actually add some depth to this, and the way we're going to do that, we're going to go to our modifiers, we're going to go to solidify, even thickness, and we'll put it on 0.2, should do us. So now it has a little thickness, and it has its own geometry on the back, so the normals will be facing the proper direction and you'll be able to see it on any angle and pretty much we're not really going to do a whole lot with this as far as cutting out all the little squares and everything for the uvs we're just going to grab the whole thing and we are going to control e uh, excuse me 
Control E and we are going to set mark seam on everything. And I messed up. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go out into the object select mode and we're going to apply the modifier. Now when we go back in, you will see that there is geometry drawn on the inside. Now we are going to select everything, control E and mark seam and that will give us seams on everything which this is a very small and it's really not going to matter that much with a lot of detail because it's very thin uh, and it'll just be kind of like a metalish color maybe a little painting we're not going to worry about edge scratches and all that kind of stuff like I said it's very small and thin I'm not even going to smooth it I'm going to keep it the way it is I mean you can smooth it but it doesn't really change it too much so if we smooth it and you get a little bit of smoothing actually you know uh, that doesn't look too bad we might actually leave it like that but we're gonna add a little bit of normal to it just so it only smooths these edges here because without that it looks a little weird on these back spaces here like that so we'll leave it like this that works for us. So now if we go back in and we select the whole thing and go ahead and unwrap it, this is what it's going to look like. It is a mess and that's going to be its own thing. So we're not going to add anything to that. That'll be its own model imported and we're just going to keep the origin in the right place so that it just snaps onto our model because the model will be built into a blueprint or an actor and everything will just fall into place pretty easily. So we are going to work with that here in a minute. Let's go ahead back here. Let's get our funnel back. Go ahead and stage smooth on the funnel. We don't have to worry about adding any normal to the funnel since there's no corners or anything like that. It's going to look just fine. We're going to grab the basket, then we're going to grab the funnel, and we're going to control P, object. And now if we grab this part, we'll move the whole basket and everything together, and we only have to grab one item so that it's parented to it. And now we can go ahead and go to three and we'll move it around and try and get it where we want it to be. We're going to scale it up quite a bit like so. So this is our basket system that's going to hold all of the balls for us. Scale it up even more, make it pretty good size. We get a lot of balls in there. Grab this one. We're going to grab this bottom edge loop on edge select, bottom edge loop, click and right, uh, control and right click and just pull these down here. doesn't matter if they're perfect right now, we'll deal with those soon. And we're going to straighten this one up by S, X, zero, Make that nice and straight. And it looks like we might have made it a little bit too big. A little you're in the right spot all right cool so now you can go back in here and just move these around a little bit to make it a little more rounded About like so so a little trick you can do here if you want to get this an edge right up here to make it in the same for this one really quickly if you push control R to get your edge loop and then click on it once and then go all the way to the end and then pull your piece here back like that then it'll be nice and straight just like this front one and then we can control R one more time here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this and we're gonna make it fit a little bit better inside this hole here but we do need to move the whole thing so that it's more centered so if I Grab it, pull it around here like this. Let's go ahead and turn that off so we can see better. GZ just a little bit. And that's better. So now we're going to go back in here and we're going to actually scale up S Shift Y this piece to fit a little bit better in that. So that's pretty good. 
Let's go ahead and grab the whole thing again and G X. So yeah, that's pretty good right there. That's not gonna matter too much. I like that. So there's our basket system done. And this will the balls will go in and the balls will feed in through here, fire out the nozzle here. And we'll have the nozzle set up with a quarter, probably about a 45 degree uh, sprocket back here with a motor that actually makes it go up and down. We'll have another motor here for this wheel, another motor here for this wheel. We'll have one on the back. We'll have the wires running back through here, going underneath, through the bottom, into a battery box. And we need to go ahead and make the battery box. And that's really simple. So we can make the battery and the battery box together. Let's go ahead and grab everything and hide it. And we'll just, uh, actually let me go back one more time and we'll check something out that I might have missed. And, oh yes I did. So right now we have the origin for this whole thing. Both of these right here, which we don't want that. We want to share the origin with the all the origins that we have set down here. So if you'll notice, we have our cursor selection already set around that origin. So all we have to do is grab it, right click on it, set origin to 3D cursor, and then that'll put it there. And we want to do that on the basket as well. Set origin to 3D cursor. Now they're both in the same place. So if we move these around, you'll see that our origin matches the same origin as everything else. That way, whenever we put all the models back together in Unreal, they'll all share the same origin, so we don't have to use any sockets or anything like that. There will be some sockets we're going to use, like the wheels, and for the barrel, it will need its own socket because the origin will actually have a pivot point right here, so they can go up and down. But everything else will just run off the same origin area. So now, we can go ahead and get rid of everything like we were doing, and we'll drop in a box. Let's grab us a cube and scale it. Uh, we'll keep it like this. We'll just go on the X a little bit. Actually, let's go on the Y since it's in that orientation and on the Z. And I think it needs to be deeper. About like so. So basically what we're going to do is tab in and we're going to grab this front face, we're going to hit I once, and we'll pull it about there, and we'll extrude it inside. So now we have a open box here, and for the top we can add two edge loops like so, and we'll scale those on the X like so, and then we'll add two more, and we'll scale those also on the X like so. Go into three, uh, one. Well, we're gonna hit Alt one, so we're, or excuse me, Control one. So we're going through the back. Grab this. I'm gonna select all of these. SX zero. SX zero. We're gonna do that for all these, so they're straight. All right. And now all we have to do is grab this one face right here and push it back like so and now we have a little battery box with a top on it and we can actually add one more edge loop right here like so uh, that is not what I wanted to do we're going to add it on the inside to right here Actually, let's just do these ones. Just all right. So we want to edge slide this one. You can just grab it like this uh, with the widget. You can also grab it with G, which is your grab. But if you double grab, then you will slide, and it'll stop, and it'll only slide in in between the distances that it's allowed to go. And we're going to slide it out here, like so. I'm going to do one more edge loop, like 
that. And the reason we did all that mess is, let's go ahead and straighten these up. S is a zero. So the reason that we did that whole mess is because we want to build a little lip right here on the bottom. The easiest way to do that, just put in our cuts, grab all the faces that we don't need anymore. And we'll get rid of the faces. And now we can grab them by the edge. This one here. Actually, yeah, we'll do it like that. Go like that. Oops. Grab that one there like that. And one right there. And we can just go ahead and connect these together. Might as well. So if we put those in there fairly close like this doesn't have to be perfect just get them kind of close we'll go into uh, control one so we can see where they are and how close they are open this one we can just straighten those with the sx oops i did the whole thing sx zero And now we can grab each one. We can actually grab all of them. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll just grab them all. Put merge with M by distance and it'll remove the vertices and now they're all connected. Pretty simple way to do it. And we have our little battery box. So now we already have our origin point right there. We can just add a cube. Scale it down a bit. About like this. Scale it on the Z a little. basic battery shape and size and scale you to the bottom so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the bottom face on the battery because we're not gonna need it let's move you to the front of the lip there we want it pretty close not like that that should work Let's grab everything else, put L, H for hide, and let's work on our battery. So I'm not really liking how wide it is, could be a little thinner, about that. Grab the whole top face, I, bring it in just a little bit, and we're going to scale it, whoops, we're going to scale it on the Y, about there, maybe a little on the X and move that back. This is going to be where the little water pots are. And we can actually extrude that up like so. And maybe even grab this whole top. Didn't mean to do that. And control B. Give it a little bevel. Just a little bit. like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. So what we can do now is just go ahead and grab this. You know, let's, yeah, let's grab the whole thing here. This one, this one. You know, even before we do that, let's go ahead and grab this whole edge loop here. We'll grab this one here, this edge loop on the bottom, this one here, we'll go control E, mark that seam so that's already done. So that'll cut away and it'll get two strips around it and one flat strip. And now we can go ahead and grab all of these parts here. Let's go to face select to grab these. We'll grab this whole top. So if you have seams and you're in face select, you can push L and it won't select the entire mesh uh, like it will in any other mode. It'll only select to the seam edge. 
which will make it easy sometimes for selecting certain things. Where is that bit? There it is. Let's grab that one. Alright, so we're going to grab all of those and we're going to Shift D to select, to make them their own selection or duplicate. We're going to scale them down, take off the S, scale them down just a bit, and we're going to scale them down on the Y. Oops, scale them down on the X, sorry. Probably about a square shape. Let's go all the way to the top, grab one, put it right here. Uh, before we do that, oh, let's go back. Uh, I think I have a duplicate. Um, do I? No. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fine. So we can go ahead and shifty those. Move them over a little. Go on to seven again. Make sure we're. We can actually go to another mode now to select the whole thing, since it's not connected. Put those in, and those will be our water pots. So grab that one, grab that one, that one, and we'll go ahead and drag those up. About like that. And there's the battery pots. Normally there's only two, but this is my battery, so I'm going to do it my way. And let's add a little lip to the top of the battery. We'll add one edge loop in, grab all the way around with the Alt on the edges. And this time we are actually going to Alt in, and we're going to extrude along the normals. And that will just extrude directly out without adding any Z. And we'll put it about right there. That'll just give us a little lip. And it extrudes a little more on the X than it did on the Y, so we'll just Y and just go a little bit so it's even. It's a little too much out there. Gives us a little lip. Now another thing we can do is you can shift right click anywhere you want and you can place your cursor selection, your cursor selector, and we can put it here and you'll see that it'll sit right on top of the mesh there, right on the face. And from there we can add, let's go ahead and add a circle. And on this one we're gonna actually add six. And we'll scale her down. About right there like that. And we'll extrude on the Z. Whoops. Set it. Oh, yes. Gotta be in a. Can't be in face select. So we're gonna extrude on the Z. Bring it up a little. Extrude and then push S to bring it in. Extrude on the Z again. Extrude S to bring it in. And then we're going to GZ just a little bit. And then we'll extrude it again on this. And from there we'll go ahead and just close in that face. Sorry about that. So now we can grab these rings. Um, you want to be on edge select for grabbing the edge loops. Or it gets all the edges and you, we don't want that. So all the edges that are going in the Z, we need to add a cut. So we're going to add one here, one here. Control E. Go ahead and mark that seam. And there we go. And now... We can grab this whole thing. Control D to duplicate it. Shift D, excuse me. Move it over to here. Let's go on seven and see where we're at. At least pretend like we know what we're doing. All right. So there we go. We got our battery set up. Now if we go ahead and bring back our battery box. And I don't want the battery facing this direction, so I'm actually going to turn it. Um, yeah, let's just grab all these and we're going to rotate it on the Z. Like that. We might actually put it slightly on an angle so it's not even. And move it to 
just a little bit because the I'm just gonna have the wiring coming through the back here and I don't really want all too much in the front and that will be our battery box we can go ahead and just shade this whole thing smooth add it and go to 60 degrees which just always seems to work for me so works really well. Let's go ahead and Alt H and bring everything back. And now we have our little box down here. And let's see what we can do. play animation always gets me all right let's go ahead and pull this up get this set where we want it to be so we built all of this on the grid for the X Y and Z just so whenever you build something like that you get all the angles and everything are easier if you build something on an angle 45 30 degrees something like that it gets really hard to work with later so we want to build it straight the way it is now. We have everything built. Now we can rotate it in whatever direction we want and fit it where we want. So if we go here, I'm actually going to get rid of these so they're not so much in the way. Uh, we'll also go to control seven to go to the bottom and we'll grab you. And we can just stick it in there. like that. Doesn't really matter all that much. So that will be our battery setup, more or less. And I think that'll get us for right now. Actually, I think we might need this to be bigger. You know, and it doesn't even matter if it's kind of underneath it like this, so that it's just part of the bottom here. That could work too. We can actually do a bracket holding it up. Yeah, you know, actually I think that's better. Let me actually move it just a little bit more this way, because we're going to have the motor here for the turning the top portion. So that actually does pretty good I think all right and then we'll have our wires going through through the back and then through the back here we could put a hole there I probably won't you're probably never gonna even see the battery so let's get everything set back out here so now we have pretty much our whole setup here one thing that we didn't do is once again our origin is in the wrong port part for this so right now our our selection cursor is not in the right area so if your selection cursor is somewhere that it shouldn't be control s and just cursor to world origin we'll put it right back to the beginning to this portion here which is where we have everything else right now but this is not so this one it's still in the center here so we can highlight it go to set origin to 3d cursor and now everything is in the middle like it should be and that should do us for this one so on the next one we're going to go ahead and try and get all the motors done maybe a bit of the wiring done get the barrel set uh, get the motors in place and then finally get into actually doing some texturing so we can see what this thing's actually going to look like and after that we'll throw it in a blender make our actor with it and set it up so it can do some damage Alright, I'll see you on the next one.